go on YouTube. So today I want to talk about 2021. It's a new year, a new you, right? What exactly are you doing to better yourself? Do you have goals? Do you have a plan? Do you have any idea of what you're doing? And if you do have these things, are you still on track? Or have you fallen off? That's what I want to discuss today. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jeff Savnick. Um, I'm a certified personal trainer through ISSA. I'm a full-time uh, police officer. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Um, I have a bachelor's in criminal justice, which has nothing to do with fitness. Um, but the most importantly is I have a little bit of education. And I'm still kind of furthering my, my, information, my uh, certifications on... Uh, I have one right now. I'm still in the process of completing for sports nutrition, and I have one for corrective exercise. I need to finish and get out of the way to be kind of fully um, well-rounded in the area of fitness and the, the fitness brand and, and coaching that I'm trying to start um, for my clients. I have an online coaching business, and I have a couple clients I'm training, and I really enjoy it. I love to educate people on fitness because fitness is for me is it's my life. Uh, it's how I stay in shape. It's how I take care of myself. It's how I better myself when I'm at work um, for myself and my coworkers. And I want to be around for my wife and, and my future child that my wife is currently pregnant. So we're, we'll be we're blessed with a boy. Um, so that's more obstacles that are coming on the road, but. Before all that, you had to have a plan. And I and, and honestly, I do uh, natural competitions for the OCB. Uh, I competed back in 2019, and I'm competing again um, April of this year. Uh, I'll be in another show. I'm about 12 weeks out or so for my, for my second competition. But let's discuss goals. So goals. All right. You want to start small and you want to start with some type of plan of what exactly you want to accomplish with that goal. So I want these goals to focus on fitness because that's kind of what I want to talk about. Um, you want to improve your health. So you have, so as far as longevity goes, so you can live longer, be healthy, be around for your family and friends and your loved ones. So you want to start with a weekly goal and you want to have a four week goal, three months, six months, and then a year. And within a year, you may have the foundation so solid that you're already on that path to success for whatever endeavor you want to do. You're on your way. So let's start with the one week goal. What's your goal is your goal. Weight loss is your goal to gain weight. For this video, I'm going to focus on losing weight. What can you do to lose weight? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, in one week, your goal should be to lose at least, at a minimum, one pound of body fat. And how do you do that? So, I'm going to tell you how you do that. You need to be in a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories. And you can do that by being in a 500 calorie deficit for seven days out of the week. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I find out how many calories I should be eating? Where do I start? You start by doing a fitness journal or diary, whatever you want to call it. Three day plan, five day plan, seven day plan. Seven days is the best. Download a fitness tracker of your liking. I personally use my fitness pal, it's free. That's what I use. Track your food, track your weight every single morning at the same time when you wake up after you use the restroom, before you've consumed any food or fluids. You wanna drink at least a gallon of water a day. Now, once you've found how many calories roughly you've been eating is where you want to scale back and create your deficit. 
half your deficit's from exercise, half your deficit is from um, your food. It's best to, to do both than to do one or the other because you want to make sure you're getting in enough food so you can function and be healthy and get the nutrients that your body needs. So 500 calories a day for seven days will give you one pound of fat loss per week. And that could be your one week goal. Let's go off the four week goal. How many pounds do you wanna lose in a month? A realistic number that's also safe is it to take your body weight and times up by 1%. Okay, and this could be a weekly thing. So, for example, let's say you take a 200 pound male. 200 times 1% is two. So you can safely lose about two pounds per week and still be able to maintain some lean body mass because you don't wanna be a huge cow deficit to where you're depleting and burning through muscle tissue. The less muscle tissue you have, the more calories, less amount of calories you're gonna burn just by sitting around doing nothing, which is your need, the non-essential activity thermogenesis, which is calories you're burning just by me just moving my hands, talking to you, it's your need. So you wanna keep as much muscle tissue as you can. That's why you still wanna work out, you still wanna train. Um, so back to that example, so two pounds per week, eight pounds in four weeks and vice versa. You can do the math. You got to start somewhere. Now you have to be consistent. You got to be patient. You didn't gain the weight overnight. You ain't going to lose the weight overnight. Stop worrying about all these quick fix diets, and these fad diets and the keto and the and the intermittent fasting and all this bullshit where you think you're going to lose the weight like that. That's not how it works. You didn't gain it overnight. You ain't going to lose it overnight. And if you do lose a bunch of weight because you go in a very drastic cow deficit, your chances of rebounding are very, very likely. And once you rebound, you're going to gain a lot more weight than you lost. And then that's just going to mess you up. So you don't want to do that. So let's not even go there. So let's focus on losing small amounts of weight every week and write that down. And the best thing I've done for myself uh, and for my clients, I tell them, what are your goals? Write them down. Write them down somewhere where you're going to see them every single day to make sure that you are accountable. Because being accountable was very key. Have those goals written down somewhere and post them in your house or your apartment or your bedroom, wherever. Post those goals and also make them public because if your goals are public, people out there are gonna keep you accountable and they're gonna make sure that you're doing what you said you're gonna do. And if you don't do it, they're gonna check you, which you may want that, you may not want that, but it's, it's the harsh truth of you say you're gonna do something then you better do it. Once you have that foundation and once you get on track, you'll be able to see exactly where you're going. And if you veer off track, you'll be able to quickly get back on track and maintain that course. But you have to have something on paper because you don't know where you started. If you write something down, you can always refer back to it. Let's go off your meals. How do you structure your meals? I have a book on Amazon. If you want to, you can look it up. Uh, my last name Savnik, S A V N I K. You can look it up. It's called Fitness Made Easy. Uh, it's very inexpensive. It breaks down everything when it comes to nutrition. But you don't have to do that. I'm not here to try and make a bunch of money off people. That's why I'm doing the videos. You can go online. You can do some research and find all this information for free. For free. It's out there. It really is. Don't overcomplicate your diet. Don't overcomplicate your cardio and your exercises. 
little bits of exercise and cardio, and eating healthy will get you where you want to go. But you have to be consistent. Don't be consistent for five days. And on the weekend, you're like, oh, I'm going to treat myself and go totally off the handle that you've completely trashed all the progress you made over that first five days. Because it easily can happen. Let's say, for example, that one pound of fat loss that you lost in that five days, and you're, you're, you're ahead of the curve right now, and you eat in a calorie surplus of two, 3,000 calories on top of what you normally eat, then that surplus is gone. And now you've gained half a pound of fat. But you don't want to do that. But if you do do that, just maintain the course. Your body will gradually catch up and you'll slowly chip away at the fat you may have gained. There's no drastic measures here. There's no quick fix. That, that's not how this works. But you have to be patient. And like I said before, you have to be consistent. Write it down. Use your meal tracker. Track all your meals. Track what you're eating. Track your condiments. Try and get at least a gallon of water a day. Uh, minimum three liters. You can get some. You also get some fluids from the food that you eat. There's water and food. Um, personally, if I am absolutely craving something, if I need something sweet, if I need something, I will go to the zero calorie options. There, there's drinks out there. There's diet soda. My personal favorite is. Uh, Diet Code Red and Mountain Dew Zeros are my favorite. When it comes to condiments, be very cautious of condiments because there's a lot of sugar and a lot of things that you're putting on your food, which are all empty calories you're not even paying attention to. Oils, same thing. If you're cooking, don't cook with olive oil, coconut oil, macadamia oil, unless you're accounting for those calories. You can use them if you want to. But just remember, there's calories attached to those. It's not free calories. So I personally use Pam Spray. They have butter spray, they have, they have regular olive oil spray, just Pam Spray. It says zero calories, but it's technically not. You gotta be very cautious and read actually read the label. Um, if you follow these things, you should be able to get a solid foundation and get on track and be taking the right steps forward. If you need motivation, sit down, close your eyes, and think, why am I doing this? What is the reason that I feel the need to do this? And that's your motivation. Right, right there's your motivation. Because you didn't start for no reason. You had a reason for it. But you have to be able to sit back and reflect and remember why exactly you did it. Why'd you start? If you have any questions, drop some comments below and I'll, I'll gladly answer them. Like I said, I'm doing online coaching. Um, I am certified as a personal trainer. I know a little bit. I'm no expert and I'm still learning and I'm all about education and consistently learning so I can give more and more information back to the public and educate you. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, and I appreciate it. Take care.